not safe to dip or swim where you're going, be that the sea, especially the sea because you've got rip tides, um, waves will just crash on you and take you out to sea. Do not do that, okay? Rivers are the same. Have a look, know where you're getting in, know where you can get in and out safely. Don't go out of your depth, all right? I can stand here, which is good. It's good enough for me to come in, do a dip. Um, the river is running fairly quick and I'll just show you. Uh, it gets shallower up here, so, you know, I know I can come up here and show you, but you can see, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty fast running. I'll just spin it round this way. Um, let you have a look there. It effectively, just just jumps off, uh, and then we're down down the river. All right. Like I say, know where you're swimming. Make sure you can get in and out safe. I mean, you can see there we've got a bit of rapids and stuff. Um, but like I say, I'm not getting too close. It doesn't take you know, a lot of uh, a lot of water running at a fast speed to knock you off your feet. So you've got to be really, really mindful, really, really careful. Okay, um, it is running fairly. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel, Travel Adventurer. Today, I thought we'd talk about is wild and open water swimming in rivers safe. It's a question, question that's quite often asked um, and it gets a lot of negative media attention just due to the fact, if we have a look back to uh, last summer and summer before, there was quite a lot of deaths in the media, you know, children and such jumping into the river, getting cold water shock and unfortunately becoming fatalities uh, because of their actions. Wild swimming, open water swimming is inherently dangerous but so is most outdoor pursuits. Uh, the key to reducing the danger though is really making yourself informed, making sure you've got the correct kit and equipment with you, making sure that people know where you are, what time you're getting in the river, what time you're getting out of the river, you check in temperature, depth, flow, you know, all these good things need to be checked before you commit to entering that piece of water. Um, some of the other sort of checks and balances that, that you might need is is the river flowing particularly flat fast? Has there been heavy rainfall? Heavy rainfall brings with it one, fast flow, and two, as you might have seen in the media, uh, sewage plants can also discharge into those rivers um, in what they term extreme weather. Um, so always make sure you check the local water authority websites and just see if there's been any discharges into the river. Another good thing to do would be to walk the river um, sort of upstream from where you wish to get in. That way you can just check, is the river clean? You know, has it got some visible you know, debris in it? Is there, is there visible waste, that type of thing? You can just check if it's clean. You can check if there's any uh, debris coming down uh, down the river prior to you getting in uh, you know it's just a it, it's a good check and balance method uh, to use before you commit to entering that ri river the next sort of thing is don't just jump into any river or any sort of open body of water if you jump in effectively what happens is as your body as your body enters the water that water is going to suck the temperature from your body uh, that can result in something called cold water shock cold water shock it'll increase your respiratory rate um, you know it can cause heart attacks there's a whole host of different um, reasons not to do it as your body cools as well it makes you confused unable to speak um, thinking becomes a bit more difficult some of you may have seen my previous videos where I've been in the water doing videos from the water as it's got colder my speech becomes a little bit uh, more you know, difficult and you can see me thinking more about what, what I want to say and that's due to cold water shock as well. Best thing to do is enter the water um, and just let your body acclimatise naturally. Yeah, 
let the cold get to your legs, go a bit deeper, you know, let your body acclimatise, go a bit deeper still, let your body acclimatise. You know, once your body's acclimatised, you should be good to go. Uh, go for your swim in the river. One thing to note is you've got to trust your body. Listen to your body. If your body's telling you it's getting cold, there's goosebumps, you're starting to shiver, it's definitely time to get out of the river. Um, don't overstay your welcome. You need to respect nature. Uh, if you respect nature, you can enjoy it. Okay. What you don't want to happen, uh, and just a few months ago on one of the beaches, actually, it hit the news. There was a lady rescued from the sea uh, and she was hypothermic. If you're hypothermic, you're confused. You're not going to be able to get your warm gear back on. You get colder and colder and colder and that could turn into a life-threatening situation. So the key things are you need to be prepared. Um, I've done previous videos where I've talked about the need to have all of your kit um, laid out in the order you wish to put it back on. So get your core back and covered first. So base layers, mid layer um, over your chest. So get your warm gear on, maybe a wind stopper over the top of that, and then the bottom layers um, put on after. As long as you're checking the river, as long as you're not taking any undue risks swimming in fast flowing rivers or, or in rivers where there's a lot of debris in, open water and wild swimming can be an absolutely fantastic pastime with many great well-documented health benefits, you know, increased mood, a better mental health, increased concentration, better circulation. Um, you know, it has been linked to weight loss due to the increased metabolism it gives you. So wild swimming and open water swimming is an absolutely amazing pastime. Please, please, please do your research first. Better still, join a club. There are many great clubs around the UK. Join a club, share that knowledge, um, get together with other like-minded individuals and just enjoy the UK's waterways. Get out there in nature, enjoy swimming. But please, 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 the one thing to take away from this, if in doubt, stay out. The river will always be there, but if you make the wrong decision, you might not be. Anyway, I hope you found that informative. Uh, it's just to give you some basic tips on um, is river swimming dangerous? There are dangers with it, but if you take all the appropriate measures, if you do your checks and balances, it can be a very, you know, um, a very safe and fulfilling pastime. Hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have enjoyed my video, please, please, please hit that like button, subscribe to my page. Um, I'll be posting more videos on similar subjects and other ones as well. Anyway, take care, everybody. Bye for now.